Today is a very tragic day for the city of Lubbock and everyone across the South Plains. 26 lives were lost and there was an estimated $250 million in damage for 1970. But out of all of this darkness comes a light as the community comes together and research on this tornado helped improve our understanding of severe weather. Today is a day that many West Texans will never forget. What was just a normal day in 1970 turned deadly as an F5 tornado ripped through the city of Lubbock. As Jody James from the National Weather Service in Lubbock explains, despite this harrowing experience, there was some good to come out of it, including our understanding of tornadoes. There's a lot of things different when you look back at the 70s. Our computer models were really in their infancy. Uh, you know, we, we tried to predict the weather with models, but now they're much more high resolution. We, we run multiple models, we do ensembles. So, you know, when you look back at the 1970s, it, it really was very crude. I think most forecasters would have a difficulty if they were just given the data, be it radar or satellite in, in the primitive models, um, they would have a difficult time making a forecast. So they did a great job with what they had, but meteorology made such great strides, not only in our understanding and the computer models, uh, but the technology uh, and then the, one of the big things was communication. In this day and age, we can get our weather information from TV, radio, our cell phone, even social media. It's also very important to have a NOAA weather radio in case you lose cell service or power. Along with technology, our forecasting has improved tremendously. Unlike 50 years ago, we can now forecast severe weather events several days out. We can see sometimes those ingredients we think will come together, you know, three, four, even five days in advance. Now that's not to say that we can pinpoint where thunderstorms or tornadoes will develop, but um, and that's what we do with our, our thunderstorm outlooks. We'll start outlooking areas a few days in advance and say, hey, in this part of the country in West Texas or Western Oklahoma, uh, it looks like, you know, coming up in three days or four days, we could have, you know, some severe weather. Even though we still have the capability to forecast severe weather events in advance, it's still your responsibility to take action when a tornado warning is issued. Best thing for people to do is, is to recognize the fact that it, it could happen again. Like as I said, Lubbock's a, a much bigger target. Know what you're going to do if that big tornado is coming up Marsha Sharp Freeway. Know, know when you're home or your business or your school or wherever you spend the majority of your time. Know where your safe place is. And the second you know, the time to do that is now, not when the tornado is coming, right? And, and the second thing is, is, is to take some personal responsibility to get that information. No one's going to come knock on your door and tell you there's a tornado coming. Yeah, another silver lining to this unforgettable day was the creation of the Wind and Engineering Research Center, now known as the National Wind Institute at Texas Tech, which helps our better understanding of tornado impacts and windstorms on house material. For more information regarding the 1970 tornado and how it helped improvements within the science, head to our website, everythinglubbock.com.